Rainbow Dash! Percy and Pinkie Pie enjoyed working at the new harbor yard at Ellsbridge. They shunted cars full of stone for the workmen that needed them for their office building. Toby and Applejack helped on occasion, but sometimes the load was too heavy, so Percy and Pinkie had to do the work alone. Sometimes Thomas and Twyla would come by to see how the work was progressing. Well done, you guys. Sir Top and Head is going to be very pleased when the new office building is complete. Oh, I can't wait for the ribbon cutting ceremony next month. It's like waiting for the opportunity to host an important party you're a part of and can't stop thinking about it? How'd you know how excited I am? Just a hunch. An airfield was not too far away from the harbor. Percy and Pinky had been hearing the airplane zooming around all day. But the loudest of all was a helicopter. <laughs> Jay sure knows how to hover. Kinda like Rainbow Dash. Ugh, stupid whirly bird. Why can't he buzz around someone else? Next day, Percy and Pinky stopped at Ellsbridge Station near the airfield. There they found the helicopter idling with pride, and to their surprise, the helicopter also had a pony friend, who indeed was the captain of the Wonderbolts, Spitfire. Oh, hi! Uh, you must be Spitfire, leader of the Wonderbolts. The one and only. Yeah, Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie told me about you. You're sure lucky to lead an equestrian Air Force team. Thanks. You seem to know a bit about us. <laughs> well, I don't know about all of it, but I still got a ways to go. Say, is that your helicopter? Why, yes he is. He's also a new friend of mine. Hello, chaps. My name is Harold, and Spitfire here is my pilot. Who are you, and who is your pony friend? I'm Percy, and this is my pony gal pal, Pinkie Pie. He just loves making new friends! <laughs> yeah, I do. Nice to meet you, Harold. Wow! What great arms you have on your roof! Why, thank you. They are very nice arms. With these blades, I can hover like a bird. Do you wish you could hover too, Percy? No way, Jose! I'm the kind of guy who likes to keep my wheels on solid ground. Well, I think railways are very slow. They're not much use and are out of date. Got to keep up with the times. Okay, Harold. Enough debating. I gotta take you on another test run. Soon Spitfire started Harold's engine, whirled his arms, and buzzed away into the sky. Later, they found Toby and Applejack at the Anofa Quarry. <sighs> Get a load of this, you two! Pinky and I just met Harold, and you know, that stuck up whirly bird thing? He just said this horrible thing, and it's making my boiler bubble with anger! Well, what did he tell you and Pinky? Well, if you need to know, that jerk called me slow and out of date! <gasps> no, he didn't say that, did he? Nope, it's true! I heard every single word he said! Hmph, <laughs> pony feathers. 
He shouldn't have said that to you and Pinky. It's just your way, AJ. Both of him will be engines and ponies can do. He collected his train and puffed off, still fuming. As they passed a water mill, they heard a familiar buzzing. Percy, look, look, look! I see Harold above us. He and Spitfire aren't very far. How about we race them to see who's out of date? Once and for all! What do you say? <laughs> Pinks, you're speaking my language! Soon, Percy was pounding the rails while the car screamed and swayed. <gasps> Holy Jimmy Jumpers! And there was Harold and Spitfire. When they saw Percy speeding along, they knew suddenly that they were being challenged and the race was on. After him, Percy! Don't let him get away! Percy had never been allowed to go fast before, but he didn't care. He was having the time of his life. Faster, Pinky, faster! Good gracious, I can't take this anymore! But it was no use. Percy was rocketing along with flying wheels, and Harold and Spitfire were hovering alongside. Meanwhile, Pinkie Pie was working hard with all her might. Way to go, Percy, Percy! We're going faster! Hey, we've gone ahead of them! We're going to win! Further up the line, a distant signal warned him that the wharf on Ellsbridge Harbor Yard was nearby. Make with the hamming sleigh on the ink spray, please! Soon, Pinkie was carefully checking the train's speed. off the main line and halted on the wharf. Oh, Pinky, I'm sure we lost the race. Talk about embarrassing. Oh, this is so heart-wrenching. Now we'll be the laughing stocks of the island. Why did we have to race that stupid whirly bird? Why? Then suddenly, the conductor quickly scrambled to the top of Percy's cab. Hey, you two! We didn't lose the race. In fact, we won! We won the race! What? What do you mean? Look! Harold and Spitfire are still hovering. They're looking for some space to land. Listen to this, boys. Here's a song especially for Percy and Pinkie Pie. Said Harold Helicopter to a Percy, you are slow. Your railway is out of date and not much use, you know. But Percy, with Pinky's help, had did the trip in record time. And we beat the helicopter on our own branch line. Percy and Pinky loved the sun the conductor had made. Oh, thank you, sir. You brought back our smiles. <laughs> I loved it. What a great surprise. They enjoyed the closing line best of all, and they couldn't have been two happier friends. <laughs>